Hey, comic book fans, my nerdy friends, my geeky potters, what's going on? Uh, just want to take a moment uh, and talk to you about a little trade they call Ghost World. Okay, Ghost World. Uh, I believe everything written and drawn by Daniel Klaus. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it or not, but uh, I believe everything's done by him <coughs> uh, in here. Um, now... I saw the movie before I even read the book. So, and the last time I saw the movie was probably like years ago. So, when I went to read it, there were actually a lot of parts where I was like, oh my gosh, that happened in the movie, this is perfect. This, well, let me, let me, the movie is a great depiction of this, uh, this book. Um, there are a few parts that are different. They focus more on um, a certain relationship in the movie that doesn't even come into play in the book, um, but a lot of the interaction between uh, the two female lead characters um, is pretty much dead on the exact same in the movie as it is in the book. Um, there were... <sighs> Sorry. There were parts of the book where I was like, okay, you're getting a little too... like you're trying too hard. Um, but, I mean, it all kind of depends on your view of, like, teenage girls, um, you know, like, right after school, trying to figure out what you're going to do with the rest of your life type of thing, um, and it's done greatly in this book, not that I was ever a teenage girl right after high school, but, uh, still, I would, that's what I imagine it's like, <laughs> um, especially for kind of, like, like, I don't want to say seen kids, but, you know, those those kids who try to act differently than everybody else. Um, so, I mean, there's a, there's a good chunk of that going on. And the relationship, like I said, between the two main characters is, is really great. You have one girl who, I mean, both girls kind of pick on everybody else in the town around them, one who's trying to get out secretly without telling the other one, and the other one just trying to stay, like, best friends forever. Um, I mean, there's there's not really much I can dive into. There, there's a whole lot of, like, different kind of short stories uh, that compiles this trade. Um, you know, any anywhere from, like, putting on a garage sale to going to a sex toy shop to going to a 50s diner, um, you know, just dealing with boys and catty girls and just kind of regular life uh, for these two. So I, I thought it was great. Um, like I said, I enjoyed the movie uh, before I even read this. Then I read this and I got kind of brought back uh, to when I saw the movie. Um, so... If you guys get the chance, go ahead and pick this up. I mean, it was it was really good. Uh, Nine ninety five cover price. You know, if you can find it for that, that's great. Uh, I found it for cheaper, which was even better. But um, yeah, it was pretty good. I'll, I'll actually show you some of the art and stuff. And here you go. Uh, the the blue tone color goes throughout the book. You know, it's. It's just kind of like regular, supposed to be regular life for girls right out of high school. Oh, that was pretty good. I liked it. And that's Ghost World. Have a good one.